Hi, my name's Erin and I'm a business admin apprentice for Inspira. Hi, my name's Karen and I am one of the skills and development advisors at Inspira. And one of the things that we were talking about was how you said, Erin, you wish there'd been some things you'd known before you'd applied for your apprenticeship. Yes, and today we'd just like to give you some top tips about applying for an apprenticeship. So when I started to apply for apprenticeships, one of the many things I found challenging was the CV and the application process, as I didn't know how to make mine stand out. So what have you found out since then to make your application stand out to the crowd? My number one tip is choose your vocabulary carefully. Doing your research is essential so you can understand the values of the company. For example, when I applied for Inspire, I saw that the company values were bold, respect and resilience. So in my application, I included examples of where I've shown these attributes in my lifetime. I think that's a really, really good tip. It's really important when you're doing an application to make sure you're highlighting the relevant skills that the company is asking for, that you're using the time to tailor your application to the job that you're applying for, and also to make sure that you are using relevant examples from anywhere in your life that you've got them. Once you get to the interview stage, it really is your time to shine. It's time to show off your personality and your other characteristics that make you a desirable candidate. Erin, what would be your top tip for anybody that's going into their first interview? So before applying to Inspire, I actually visited the centres to see one of the advisors just on how I could make myself stand out in an interview situation. So my number one tip is always research the company that you're applying for. This shows initiative and willingness towards the job. That's a really good tip, Erin. In fact, if you do prepare and you do your research, you may even have an idea of some of the questions they might want to ask you, and it gives you a chance to prepare some answers. Always remember about making that first impression in an interview as well. You are going to be being watched from the moment you walk into the building. So make sure your body language is nice and calm. You're giving eye contact and smiling at people. Think about what you're going to wear. Think about being smart and clean and also smelling nice. So mine and Erin's three top tips when applying for apprenticeship. Number one, be bold. Go for it. You've got to be in it to win it. Number two, be relevant. Do that research, find out the skills and qualities they're looking for and make sure you mention them in your application and interview. And number three, be resilient. You might not get there on the first attempt, but that doesn't mean that you stop trying. That's my current top tips on applying for an apprenticeship. If you'd like any more information, please visit the Inspira website, which you'll see this video uploaded and many more to help you through your journey.